I'm Alan Lawrence of WonderTouch, and in this tutorial I'll show you how to work with Particle Illusion to create HD or other high-resolution output. If you're using Particle Illusion SE, you're limited to rendering in a visible window, which means you can only render output that is slightly smaller than your desktop resolution. For instance, here's SE on my 1680x1050 display. The largest size I can render with SE at this resolution is about 1658x990. That's the desktop width minus 22 pixels and the desktop height minus 60. Therefore, if you want to get full 1080 HD resolution, which is 1920 by 1080 in SE, your desktop resolution needs to be at least 1942 by 1140 pixels. To even get this maximum size, you need to first turn off all toolbars and the status bar, then manually drag the sides of the stage window out as far as possible. Since this takes a lot of effort because you need to drag the window sides back again to see the other windows while working, I suggest only doing this when you're ready to do your final render and just work with the stage window zoomed out. Remember, this is only a limitation of Particle Illusion SE. Particle Illusion 3 makes this all much easier. Technically, it still needs a visible window to render into, but there are features in place that make things as easy as possible for you. First, make sure you're using the latest version of Particle Illusion 3, as some of these features are fairly new. Second, make sure you maximize the application window before rendering to give Particle Illusion the chance to create as large a stage window as possible. You'll probably be working with the stage zoomed out a bit, so when you save output, you'll see a message letting you know that stage zoom is not 100%. Click Yes to set it to 100. Particle Illusion will then maximize the size of the stage window and attempt the render. If it can fit the output size, it will render, then restore your original window layout when it is finished. If it still can't fit the output size you want, even with the stage window maximized, P Illusion Render will automatically be called. P Illusion Render is the standalone renderer included with Particle Illusion 3 and is used for large output sizes or for batch rendering of projects. If you're using a version of Particle Illusion 3 that does not automatically call P Illusion Render, then you'll need to save your project file, then open it in P Illusion Render to do the rendering. Note that if you're getting unexpected results when rendering with PI Render, you'll want to check to see if it is using hardware acceleration or software rendering. Although software rendering can be much slower, it's more dependable, so use it if you're having problems. If you're using an Intel-based Mac, you can't use software rendering as it's disabled at the OS level. Even with P-Illusion Render, there are still limitations on the size of output you can create. The maximum stage size in Particle Illusion 3 is 8192 by 8192 pixels, but it's not guaranteed that you can create output at this size. There may be some limits placed on the maximum size by the OS or video drivers. For instance, on Macs you may be limited to 2048 by 2048 or 4096 by 4096 pixels, even though Particle Illusion lets you set the stage size larger than that. Okay, I've gotten a little off track with discussions of PR render, software rendering, and size limitations, so it's probably a good idea if I just show the whole process of creating a high-resolution project in Particle Illusion 3. First, choose the stage size, which sets the output size. You do this in the Project Settings dialog. Remember to maximize the Particle Illusion application window so you have enough room to work. Next, load a background image or movie by double-clicking the empty layer thumbnail. I don't have any HD footage handy, so I'm just loading a single image. Next, add emitters and customize them. Note that I've zoomed out using the mouse wheel or the Z key shortcut so I can see more of the stage. Use the middle mouse button or the S key to scroll or pan the stage window. When your changes are done, click the Save Output button, click Yes in the Set Zoom to 100% question, choose your output file name, format, and other settings like alpha channel and frame range, and you'll see PI Render start up. If you chose an image file format, the render will start immediately in PI Render, and PI Render will close when it's finished. If you instead chose a movie file format such as AVI, PI Render will start, and then you'll need to choose the AVI codec to use. 
After this choice, you can check other options such as Alpha Channel and will need to click the Render button. The render does not start automatically. One last note about even higher resolution output. Perhaps you are working on a project at print resolution and want to add some particle effects. Let's say that the project is 10,000 by 10,000 pixels, a poster at 300 dpi for instance. There is no way to render a 10K image in particle illusion, but do you really need to? Maybe you want to add an explosion to the print image. Will the explosion take up the entire 10K by 10K area? Probably not. It's most likely just one small part of the final image. In that case, you can usually render the explosion image alone at a smaller size such as 4K or whatever size seems appropriate, then add it to your composition. This same idea can be used to work on high resolution projects in Particle Illusion SE too. Even though you're limited to a visible window, as I mentioned at the start of this tutorial, if the Particle Illusion element won't take up the full frame, you can probably still render it out in SE, then position it in your compositing application. You may need to get creative with some cropping in your video editor in order to output a section of the video that you can load into SE if you need to match the particles to some video, but it can be done. So that was a quick look at how HD and higher resolution projects can be handled in Particle Illusion. Hope it was helpful. I'm Alan Lawrence of WonderTouch. Thanks for watching.